Hi, it's Jordan Teen One, and today I'm going to share with you the template for my new Pixels bracelet. So the movie is out in theaters and my kids have been bugging me to take them to see it. So I thought it would be fun to come up with a pattern for some of these classic video game characters. So at the top here I have Qbert, then Frogger, Pac-Man, and then at the bottom there's Donkey Kong. To make your bracelet, you can use either the Alpha Loom or the full size Rainbow Loom. And I do prefer to make mine on the Alpha Loom for a few reasons. I like the fact that the pins are spaced a little bit farther apart widthwise, so that way your bracelet has a little bit more room to grow down in between the pins. And I like the fact that they're spaced closer together lengthwise because that way those clear bands that tie the rows together don't have to stretch as far. And then another really important reason is because it has this alpha comb that has the seven hooks which obviously will help you loom a lot faster. But I know that not everybody has access to the alpha loom so you can definitely make this on your rainbow loom. You just need to have your pins set in line with one another and you'll only need to use two rows of pins, so you can remove the third row or leave it on, it's up to you. And then you would just use seven sets of pins that are straight across from one another. And you would want to remove those blue base plates from those seven rows so your bracelet can grow down. And if you do need any extra help with how to do this on the rainbow loom or how to follow a grid pattern, you can check out my video that I did making an American flag using the rainbow loom. To make my bracelet I used a total of 357 of the colored bands and then 50 of the clear. So let me just break it down by color. I used 149 blue, 62 orange, 20 white, 7 black, 23 green, 56 yellow, and then I used 31 of this darker skin tone color and these are regular size bands so you're going to have to double them and then I used 9 of this darker red, it's like a brick red color and again you'll have to double those and then again 50 of the clear. So I wanted to give you just a very brief demonstration about what it means to double a band. So when you're dealing with the alpha loom bands they're nice and small so all you do is stretch those straight across from one pin to the other. But when you're dealing with a regular size band, which you will often have to do if you want any color that isn't available for the Alpha Loom bands, you're going to have a band that's about twice as big. So you're going to have to double this, which you can do in your fingers, you can do it on your hook. What I found is the easiest is to just place it on one of the pins, twist, and then just loop that other end back on. And then what you just need to do is take your hook and grab both of those loops and stretch it straight across. So basically now you've just doubled that so it's going to be about the same width as your regular alpha loom band. So here's my bracelet once again and what I'm going to do is add a grid pattern above my bracelet so then you can just pause your video and make your own bracelet. But let me just tell you a little bit more specific details about this bracelet. I used 51 rows and the measurement is about seven and a quarter inches in length. Basically every seven rows equals about an inch, give or take a little bit. And if you did want to add or subtract any rows, you would do that either on the ends, and I have two rows on either end, or then in between the characters and there's two rows in between each of those. So if you do have the alpha loom there is a grid template on the back of the instruction sheet and you can use that to figure out approximately how many rows you need to make your bracelet to fit your wrist. I hope that everyone loves their new Pixels bracelets. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!